Welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders 3. I'm Burning Dog Face, and for some reason I'm here instead of where I left off, talking to Vulgrim. But that's okay. I've not been here yet. Oh, I see. Yeah, he's just around the corner. My mistake. No, 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 they did drop me in the right spot. Excellent! Which means I can continue with my plan after all. Alright, gotta bite the bullet and do the thing. Starting with this point. Countless decades of brutal warfare. Mmm, delicious. Oh god! 47 large! Holy God in heaven! Good evening. I suppose you have like a BFG I can buy with all of that? No? No. No. Hmm, lots of these though. I don't need those. Okay. This will be fun for both of us. Told myself I would stop holding back. You know what's funny? I feel like rather than evenly distributing them, I should be putting, you know, oh, put more points into strength because you do more basic damage. But the fact of the matter is, they're all base pretty much the same useful. I need health to live, I need strength to hurt people, and I need arcane to make those big flashy attacks worthwhile. So I'll just keep putting points into all of them. 500 health. Let none stop me. And large right here in a medium lurker cache. A large collection of human specters, unstable from being trapped in limbo for so long. Let's do this! A moderate number of spirits drawn together by deep regret. A small scattered group of wayward spirits lost, unable to escape Earth. To send that to a friend of mine. But first. What would you ask of this humble merchant? He's giddy with anticipation. This will be fun for both of us. One of these. And one more. Good God, man. That's a lot of souls. As you wish. Take your time. How much was he actually charging for? 2,000 each. Okay. Noted. Where am I? Not the depths, that's where I came from. I'm in the Dark Nebula. Nice. I love the names in this place. I was specifically advised... No, that, not that. I mean, I have been advised to do that. I kind of held back from that last time, but, uh... I have been specifically advised... It, rather than, you know, feeling out each level of the whip, I should just dump a bunch of adamantine into the whip and go hog wild on these guys. I mean, they're not holding back on me. I wonder if anyone's ever slipped in there. Sorry, morbid thought. Um. Welcome, Horseman. Oh. Getting to make clouded for all the humans you sent my way. Let me boost that little trinket I gave you. Oh. I had to talk to him to do the thing. Okay. Noted. To lay down a mighty heart. Look at all these fragments I've got on me. Ooh, up to I pieces. And... 
No slivers, but... Pieces! Now, this is silly, though. I need those uh, slivers. Let's go throw whatever little money I have left at Volgram, see if I can't upgrade uh, one of these other weapons. Just once, I'm going to walk up to one of these plinths, and instead of Volgrim, it's going to be the guy from Resident Evil 4. You know the guy, the merchant who goes, What are you buying, stranger? Good eating. Take your time. Uh, 800, okay. An excellent choice. As you wish. Thank you, Volgrim. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. What do you have to say, large man? Welcome back. Oh, well, thank you. Can't stay away, can you? They like me now. It's kind of nice to see a part of this world where everyone doesn't uh, resent me. It's almost depressing, actually, to see Uthane this happy, knowing how bitter and jaded he was in the first game. I haven't upgraded these in a while, or this, or this. Okay, so I have not enough for that or that, but I can... Oh, no, just that. Fuck! Okay, I'll keep looking. Maybe I can put some souls into that for a while. I was kind of expecting it to cut a hole in the fabric of reality with that kind of uh, power put into it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Sometimes I take forever doing upgrades and stuff, which I know that. Greetings. Please take your time. By the way, Volgrim, gotta say, I like that it defaults to the one I just came from. That's very convenient. Now then. Except not, because I still need to... Oh no, that was just a whip area, wasn't it? Despite my efforts to keep things cold with voodoo, uh, the temperature rose up above 20 degrees today, so I'm wearing shorts for the first time this year, which feels noteworthy. Oh, is that disappearing? Alright, so which one of you guys are real? Is this a trap? Do I pick that up and then you guys get me? Is that it? Oh, well, that's just creepy! that's going to come into play here. Are you guys real? Alright, that's starting to get weird. Useful, but I don't have anywhere to put it yet. It's actually surprisingly difficult to get a nice shot of Fury making contact with something with that charged shot. Well, not like that, but like with these things, like with things she can move, like the train I was having trouble with, because it creates so much like purple, you know, visual effect on the screen that you kind of can't tell what's going on. You see? Big burst off there from the side. Okay, what have I accomplished? Nothing. It just stopped. Okay. 
the point of? Why did you? Oh, there's a twig. You really need to move that. Him. Oh, I should actually check what he did. Plus 10% lurchers and killing an enemy, that's the same. Plus 20% wrath reward from wrath lurchers. Wow. I mean, it does say several empowering benefits. At last, an enemy! Now we're talking. Ah, oh, crap, that's exactly what I was trying to avoid, because I- I mean, come on, come on, it's that guy! Oh, you can't actually hit me from here. I manually aimed that one. That's how afraid of you I am right now. I mean, for God's sakes, you have an overhead slash, man, use it! Or I'll just put you in the ground, you know, whatever. Um... Okay, just checking. Oh, I like the crumbling noise it makes when those guys hit the ground. Oh, right, he's too far away. Sorry, habit. Ow! Ow! Christ. Fine. Didn't want to use that, but whatever. Alright, big guy, let's do this. Jesus, how do you like it? Ow. Oh wait, you know what I should do? I should do this. Oh, right. Ah, oh, it's like I... fought this guy two days ago, and it's like I don't remember what I'm doing. Oh. Thought I dodged under that. My bad. I was gonna get out into the open, switch to the healing shard. What the hell? Oh, I love that combo. Oh, uh, in case I blew any Americans' minds earlier, a reminder that where I'm from, we measure the temperature in Celsius instead of, uh, Fahrenheit. It's quite a lot warmer than, uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Hey, I've broken all your guys, and I'm not sorry. I don't think that's how physics works, but I'll allow it. See? Overhead slash. That other guy was just being stupid. Okay, no way to trigger the that guy on the left without triggering the big guy. So I will just get them both, and, uh, flee. I'm gonna leave, but he's just instantly disinterested. 
clearly he had better things to do with his time. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were dead. Alright, it's just you and me. No, oh, wouldn't dodge fast enough. This is going to suck, I've suddenly realized, because this is a much smaller room. Oh, come on! How are those not close enough? I like the way he takes a knee when you give him a, more than a certain amount of damage in one strike. Oh, I hate that move. Although that one's actually worse in larger rooms, because he crosses the whole way, leaving big puddles of damage in his wake. As soon as he started dying, I was like, yes! And I just reached back to scratch an itch in the back of my neck. Oops! Funny how that works out. Wait. Oh, there. Okay. not here. Must have been in that other uh, thing I totally forgot was even there, because I saw that on the way past and it was just like, huh. Ah, there it is, the Orb of Prophecy. Ah! Jeez, there is a third guy! <laughs> I, I was like, did I just hear... Oh, yeah, I did. Wrong direction, Fury. Thank you. I'm sure it's difficult to aim yourself when you're th suddenly becoming the embodiment of rage. Oh, no way, that other guy is the embodiment of rage. Well, I've got to beat him to prove myself in that regard, then. Oh, I see. You guess you can only jump once and not double jump when you're, uh... I think just hissing at me? I'm spending too much time carrying Bugsy around. And nothing else. So it wants me to move something. Claws! Well, I better not have, uh... Oh, okay, never mind. That was a stupid thought. Um... Remember, that's not actually what... You know what? Let's not get into it. Uh... For a second there, I just thought, well, okay, it's open to this path, but that doesn't help. It's like, oh, there's side bits. Because, of course, there's side bits, you silly goose. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's go that way. Why would I want to go this way is the question. And the answer is... I got nothing. You can't do anything to those. Okay! Not the correct one. 
You'd think I'd remember I need to be lightning in order to do the glidey thing, but no. Okay, that's better. Yes, good. Wait a minute. Alright, humor me. Sorry, guys, I have a thought. Can I see that orb from up there? New. Oops. Crap in a bucket. Why can't I look down? Ah, I didn't think that would work. I can't believe I, uh, the problem here is that I can't look down far enough to hit the thing. Mouse? No. Oh, it worked! Uh, but... Wait, I'm gonna do this. Okay, now what? Has that changed anything? No, I'm just being stupid. I guess that one's just there to make this uh, opening look more dramatic. Alright. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Darksiders 3. I say that as I see the, uh... What's it called? Coming to an end. <laughs> and, uh... We'll continue making our way through here. And show our, uh, new Keeper friend. What I think of, uh... These whip upgrades I have received. <laughs> Later. Oh, don't worry, I did, uh, remember this. These last two points I forgot to spend. Let's just even it off again. Perfect. Later!